Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here again with another episode of my Forever Factory playthrough. And... I have a new recipe that I want to try. I don't have any instone. How am I going to make instone? Oh, that's easy enough then. There we go. Now we can do the in portal frame. I'm guessing this is a recipe for Skyblock, but it does mean I don't have to worry about finding a stronghold anywhere. I'm gonna need Eyes of Ender too. Uh, we need 12. There we go. And where should I set this thing up at? Is this thing full of gasoline yet? Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Maybe over here would work. see. I don't want to make a mess with the water, so we'll be a little more careful how we dig here. Now, in placing these, you have to make sure they're facing the correct direction. So you're looking for this detail here. That's how it's got the same detail on that side. You want this to be facing towards the center. Otherwise, the portal will not activate. Then you have to go into creative and break it, and yeah. There we go. All right. So I went ahead and I enchanted, I think it was like seven bows. And so I ended up with this thing after I combined it all. But we also have our railgun, so probably you should get the accumulator backpack. And I went ahead and made myself terra steel armor as well. I had all the stuff necessary, so let's go ahead and get some more sandstone, just in case I need to like bridge or something. Let me out. There we go. There we go. Now he's spawning in finally. I probably can't destroy those quite yet. Oh, hello, you have a backpack on you. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that worked. Not so well. Well, probably should have tried more than just one block to kill that guy with. Realize I probably I'm going to need to get Dragon's Breath sometime.
That one's got a cage around it. That one's got a cage around it as well. about the real gun is it has like no drop at all to the projectiles. So it's perfect for sniping like this. Quit lobbing the spitballs at me dude. I think I got all of them, but the ones with the uh, the cages. Yeah, he's using the projectiles right now. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to do some destruction, I guess. First one's over here. That's ah, stung a bit more than I thought it would. Oh well. I'm waiting for this dragon's breath to despawn, but it looks like it's not going to. And also that one there. Kind of a really chill dragon fight, honestly. Nope, not that. Food. Thank you. Got 26 steel rods left. Okay. Oh, you're back up there now? Okay. That's fine. You can do your thing for now.
Alright, come on. There you go. Oh, I am out of, uh, steel rods. One thousand two hundred and thirty four experience orbs. Okay. Okay, where did you go now? Over here. Nice. Yep, got the egg. And now we can go back to the overworld. All right. Are there any uses? We got two dragon eggs. Okay. And dragon death muffler. That is basically it. Okay. Well, we can decorate with those later on. Put that stuff in there. Go ahead and put our railgun away. And we need like a bottle of cork, right? So any living wood planks. And now we go back to the end. I need to look up Dragon's Breath too, don't I? Do I actually need this stuff or anything? Um, I want to make Dragon Steel, yeah. One second, there is a liquid version. Oh, it's just okay. Never mind then. Uh, looks like we don't really need it. So, if I do need it sometime in the future, I can just you know resummon the dragon and then kill it. So, man, I just destroyed the aura in that area. <laughs> It'll, it'll balance out. I could go to the uh, outer areas, but not really all that concerned about that right this moment in time. Here we go. Now, bottled darkness. I can make a few things like lamp sanctuary. Of the end, world eye, or an attraction cart. That could be useful, actually. Maybe. Let me add that to my wish list. I've used this before to basically balance aura in an area. You set up a big, big rail cart and just circle. This is what we need here, though. Because. We need that to make heavy primordial stone. Which we can then break down into all the different hardened, you know, bits and bobs here. Which we can process those in an induction smelter to get perfected. And that doesn't really have any use. Okay. But yeah, one of these becomes 6,000 millibuckets of a uh, slurry, basically. And 200 millibuckets of cleaned slurry equals one crystal. So that's what... We'll get like 30 crystals per, which is not bad. And then you can run that through into ingot form, basically, right? So each one of those crystals is worth 30 ingots. So once we get that set up, then we'll be uh, doing a lot better. Bottle of darkness. Hey, I can see four more. Nice. And let's just go ahead and put those in there for now, because I don't really need them right at this moment. Doing the stuff in Chapter 6 again. again. Still haven't done this yet. Alright, well I figure it's time we finally make some progress in this chapter. So... 
pulverizer. And I probably should go ahead and make my magma crucible too while I'm at it. So we're going to need a couple of these. And do I have enough invar? I do. Okay, good. That's right, I did make a bunch of in the past, didn't I? A couple of those and so, right? Because we're going to need to start making cryothium here soon, so having a magma crucible is going to be necessary for that. I've got this one. Can I click you from here? I can do that. Uh, this one's going to be my cryothium tank. And I'm just going to have it auto crafting stuff for me because the system won't be smart enough to do that, which is great. For now, let's just put you here and you go there. You hook up to this. There we go. I should probably, because this is working somewhat well right now with redstone control on this thing. And uh, I should probably get this biofuel or biodiesel here into some sort of tank instead of going straight into the generator. Do I have any treated wood fences left? I'm getting sidetracked again, I know. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Got a lot of them. There's that, and then sheet metal. I'll just go ahead and request all of it. Also, I need inscribers. Like four more to do. There we go. And. I need pipes to take it. There we go. And a lever. I <laughs> just need all the things. Okay. Alright, so let me just go ahead and pop that. You have 24 buckets of diesel in you, okay. Let me go ahead and we'll start here, I think. The right height. So, actually, I think it's one more level. If you make it one block too tall, it actually becomes a silo instead of a tank. So, there it goes. that. Very good. I just grabbed a bunch of melons because my magnet was on. And then we're going to have our lever here. Turn on. There it goes. All right. Sweet. Now this thing is going to start filling up. Uh, do I have a bucket on me? I have my reservoir on me. Yes. So, 16,091 millibuckets right now. There it goes. There's another 50 millibuckets. And let me just go ahead and do that. And then we just let the thing run. And eventually we'll have 512 buckets inside that tank there to supplement the uh, diesel generator. Alright, so 
reason I need a pulverizer is for this. There we go. Go complete faster service. Boosted using pulverizer catalysts. That's okay because we can use uh, the basal shards or whatever they're called as a catalyst. Or I can also use uh, flint if I wanted to. Do you work as a catalyst? You do. So yeah, it's got to be the dust instead of. And you pulverize as well, don't you? Yeah, okay. And I can use some slag. All right. That works. Okay, then. Um, for now, I'm going to have to do that manually to build up my Certus Quartz reserves. Let me set you guys up over here, probably. All right, now, how are we making silicon? Surgis quartz, dust, or nether quartz? Okay. And you will go in here. Yeah, you can only put one in at a time. Let me get rid of this. I'll just move it over one. And do 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 do. I thought I had pipes on me. <laughs> Guess not. Oh well. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of these, right? Five of these. We go. I won't worry about setting up the filtering for all this later. For now, though, we'll do that. Do like that. Get me my. Oh, it's in my inventory already. Okay. This, and we'll just. Disconnect these books because they're not going to serve any purpose anyway. So, also just not having to be an issue. And these will be one, two, three, four, five. How many? Three items. Mm. I'm going to need a filter for this one too. Okay, you're going to need power though. I have an issue with these stupid things is they're sided, right? Like if you want an item to go here, you have to insert from the side. If you want an item here, it has to go into the top. Insert top, insert from bottom, left, right, back, front. Oh, hey, we got you guy. Uh, yep, don't care. Okay. Go away. So I need to somehow power these things. Isn't there something from modular routers that, uh... Energy upgrade. Okay. Well, that'll come in handy, so we'll just go do that. We'll do that. Vacuum module, void, blast camouflage. Da, da, da. Energy distributor module. Riley distributes FE energy from the router's energy buffer or an energy containing item in the item buffer to nearby energy containing blocks. That's what I need right there.
and that'll free up having to do another side onto those blocks. So it should make it, you know, slightly more compact. All right, request. Thank you. Have I really used up all my routers? Hmm. So we need a distributor module, which we need three Mark II cinders. Three of those. And then do three of those. Also, the melons can go away. And then, boom. All right. Okay. And then that'll go into here. Now, we also need an energy output module, which is, okay, that's pretty cheap. I, you know what? Fine, whatever. I'll have to. And then we need to turn that into an energy distributor module. There we go. Now, I also wanted to make one of these, the energy upgrade. So I needed blank upgrades here. Let's do like four recipes of these. Okay, away you go. And there. Now, I need HV connectors because I'm out. I have been coasting by on the resources I generated like 10 episodes ago and still haven't needed anything. Okay, there's that. Let me do that. Then you hook up to there. Very good. Upgrade. Boom. There it goes. Now it has an energy buffer. And now this, I, yeah, shift right click, I selected, unselected in board tutorial to select it, okay. It's not showing, I figured it would say something on this. Shouldn't really matter. It's not like some sort of upgrade I can shove into this thing, right? To have it select something. Activator module. Action right click. Oh, that's kind of cool. Sync upgrade. Hmm, okay. All right, so I think I got it somewhat working. And for whatever reason, this does not work with the inscribers for some strange reason. So I just made an energy acceptor. I mean, it's just quartz glass, iron, and copper. It means nothing major. Ran a cable over, and these things are actually sharing power as well, which is nice. But we have our four calculation or our four presses here All right we got calculation logic engineering and then silicon which looks like we're out of silicon let me get some of that fired up then probably yeah another quartz for now and then this last one here i have it which turns out i don't need this filter actually there's only one item going into the side uh Integrated circuit. Also, every one of these has a stack limiter module for one item. Because otherwise it was just sending item after item after item and they just kept bouncing around inside the pipes because you only put one item at a time in each of these. 
There we go. And boom, got another one. Looks like that is the last diamond one. I do want to make some acceleration cards, but to make these, I need calculation processors. All right, are you going to send a diamond again? Nope, you're sending a logic this time. All right, cool. And let me put that and that away. Let me grab like 20 of these. I'm going to take, run one of these through. All right, and sweet logic processors. There we go. Hmm. I goofed up here, didn't I? I want you to be over here, actually. And then... There. That way I can have the processes all lined up. Alright, you should be done. You are. Good. You can go into there now, and then you can process the rest of those. Because I need more Surtis Dust. Yeah, in World Transformation, one charge Surtis, one Surtis Dust in water equals two Surtis Quartz Crystals. Not going to be terrible to automate, but, you know, not going to really be an issue either. Is it sending them in order? It is. Okay. So the first item in the list has a higher priority, which I burned through all my diamonds now, so... Need to get some sort of uh, diamond generation going. We can actually make diamonds in the pressure chamber. If I can find it. There it is. Eight blocks of coal equal one diamond. Uh, is there any way to make like coal from charcoal? Well, there's conjuration catalyst. We'll double the coal. Okay. Set up a wither skeleton spawner. And that's just coal dust to coal. Okay, so that's not going to work. Torches. Because I can make torches with charcoal and run through a sawmill and get coal back. That's a thing. Or we can do a transmutation catalyst with the natural altar and turn charcoal into coal. Okay. Right, so let me just add that in. And I should probably put a stack limiter on these. So I only have like a stack of this at a time. But that'll probably jam this machine up if I do that. So it's like... Decisions, decisions, right? Hey, look, quest complete. And that'll give me a bunch more and some nickel coins. Okay. And so. Now, thermal paste. We need to get this stuff going is a mixture of these, which is why I, a couple of episodes ago, spent all that time on getting the uh, thermal mobs to spawn in. And then we need molten plastic for new craft. Okay, that's not a problem. I mean, that just comes from LPG, so I mean, I've got tons of LPG now. And I've got a bunch of this stuff as well. Uh, how are we doing on LPG, actually? Kind of curious. Oh, 128 pockets. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I'm going to let this run for a while. And... Is there some sort of, like, level emitter? I don't think there is, really. K. 
Can I make another, like, rope connector here? One of these. Don't have the connector on me because they're in here. There we go. Again. I am curious to see if this will attach straight to a pretty pipe. Looks like it will. Okay. Well, this isn't what's going to go over here anyway. But these I can set up up here. And hopefully I can use these to detect how full these are. And then if I put a redstone upgrade, right, which is a thing, right? Uh, yes. Redstone module. Assembling pipe with a redstone signal. Works for both extraction and retrieval. Once I get enough of these, I can just shut the pipe off, and I, that way I don't have to worry about it trying to uh, burn through. I mean, actually, I'm not that high on gold. I thought I had more than that, but yeah, burn through all the gold that I have. So let me go ahead and grab this out. Grab these. I think I'll have exactly enough to do what I want. And up we go, and then you and you, right? And I need my screwdriver so I can modify these things. There we go. So you're gold, so let's do on yellow. For you, we'll do a probably light blue would be the best for you. Then we'll do cyan for diamond. And then I can go through and I'm not worried about the silicon. Because it's we're gonna need a lot more silicon than anything everything else. So and then I can just do to that, to that, to there, there, and there. You are on yellow. This is my engineering, that is diamonds, that is cyan. And that is light blue surface. And then we're going to have it be output. I was going to call this an episode a couple of minutes ago. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh, functional storage, please. I need iron downgrades. About time to make more, uh, more drawers, it looks like I'm out. One, two, three. We'll set our signal threshold to like 15, I think, right? And well, I'm waiting for this thing to catch up now. I do have these. Acceleration card needs advanced cards, which needs diamonds. I am out of those for the moment. Did I really just only get two diamonds out of that? That was exactly what I needed, but. All right, I'll click $800 per diamond. That's kind of ridiculous. All right now, do I have any Fluix left? No, I do not. So I need charged, right? Let's grab like two of these for now. Also going to need one, two, and one, two. Over here to our handy dandy water source. And we got four Fluix. I just now got the achievement. Come on, we've done this before. I 
Okay. Only two for now. Just fine. Because I want this thing here to run faster so it'll actually use up the stuff here. And we are out of silicon again. Or, well, out of silicon period. Just gonna mess things up. For now, so I can get all the kinks worked out. Just give me some levers, right? Oh, I need the redstone control modules too. Dang it. One, two, three. Just shut everything off for now. Should work, right? Yep, I'm not seeing any more gold come in, so. But, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.